Okay. Yeah. More down. More down. Uh, probably less oxygen, I think. It has to be like a small little nipple at the very end. You had it right the first time. There you go. Just like that. Keep going. More, 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 more. Right there. Perfect. All right, you're on. He's gonna sweat it out. Get down there with it. You don't want to burn all the other stuff. Just be careful. Pull on it as you're doing that. You don't want to melt the actual metal itself. Come on, pull on it. Come on, pull on it. Back up a little bit, back up a little bit. There you go, like that. Come on, keep going. Harder. Back up, back up. Yeah, come from this direction here. From this direction so you don't burn everything else. Back up, back up. You're too hot. Back it up. And pull hard, pull hard. It's already melted. Pull it out, pull it out. You're letting it. Come on, there you go. Come on, you got this. It's, it's already melted. Just pull it out, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. Come on, pull hard. Come on, you got this. Good. All right, go ahead and turn it off so you can let it rest for a little bit. Good. Good job. You kind of burnt this, but that's not a big deal. It's kind of going blind from the cantilation. It looks like uh, looks really good. I mean, you didn't burn the you didn't burn the um, you didn't burn the, the the main line. On this side, at least. Now I can dip it from whenever it cools down. Yeah, from that side, and you'll dip from that side. It'd be easier, yeah. Because it's not, because it's like kind of. I got you. I got you, dude. That's why I helped you out. Because I know it was it's kind of hard to do it. You have to kind of bend it a little bit to get it done. But you did good, man. Real good. <coughs> hey, look at Jimmy's sweater. I can't see anything. There's a giant dark spot in my head. Let's kind of see it. Let's see it later. How'd how it feel? Felt good. Good. Look at that. No damage at all. No damage at all. Both are completely intact. All we gotta do is clean up those little spots and we'll I'll uh I'll uh knock those um that implant in back into it. So good job buddy. I'm proud of you. <coughs>
Is it okay with no flux? What? Is it okay to do it with no flux? Flux? Yeah. You don't need flux, dude. This is not like... You need flux. Looks like you're painting it. What? Looks like you're painting it. That's it. So, we just charged the system of nitrogen, check for any leaks see if the pressure holds up and then we know we're good to move on to the next step which is uh get it ready for some refrigerant so how do we know it's holding up though so there's a, a number here the psig it's at 149.7 yeah and that's how much pressure is in the system and since it's holding that means nothing's leaving or entering the system meaning there's no leaks and that if it holds for another like a minute should be good to go okay Is it like, like it's doing uh, suction pretty good? Yeah. We're down to 1200 micro. 1200? What are we going for? I forget. 500. Around this. So we're at 1200, but we're going for 500? Yeah. So we're already past the limit. So definitely turn off. Hurry, turn off. 1000. <laughs> we're at 1000? That's okay. All right. We're doing pretty good then. So these are microns. So we have to put a, uh, a suction on the system itself and uh, to make sure that we have the correct suction, which means vacuum within the system, we're trying to get all the air and uh, particles. What? Non-condensables. Yeah, things that what? Dirt, things that don't condense, you know, like dirt, moisture, air, leftover nitrogen. Yeah. So in order to make sure we have that, we have to get this number here, 820, whatever, going down to, we have to get it down to 500. It usually, you know, does pretty good in the beginning. Um, it slows down around, uh, what? 600? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's and it, it goes up and down, but um, you can tell the, 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 fact, the fact that um, it's actually going down, it shows that me and Dave Lee did a great job with the, uh, with the uh, torch here and here. It looks kind of sloppy, but I just was being very safe. I just wanted to make sure that I got a good, a good seal. So yeah. Up and down, up and down. It'll take uh, probably a couple hours actually to get where we're trying to go. But uh, this right here, I'll be honest with you, is, uh, this is one of the best vacuum pumps you can get. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So we need to get some big black ones. Yeah, some big black ones. You know, I hear that that the big black ones are the are the best. They have a lot of power. Yeah, the big black ones have like all the the size needed to make it happen quickly. Yeah, it'd be a lot faster. Yeah. In fact, this right here, it likes only the big black ones, not so much the small yellow ones. So, here we go. 740. We're gonna we're gonna be here for several hours. So let's uh, we'll oh, take a break. What do you say? I think like half an hour. Half an hour? Yeah. All right. Yeah, gonna burn up these fire ants. Using fire against fire. Back a little bit so you can see better. 
all over the place. There's some in the north side. It's going to come back out. I hope you guys enjoy the food because uh, it's not going to be well. Enjoy. No such thing as free lunch? No such thing as a free lunch, guys. Fire ants get fire. Fire ants get fire. Fire ants get fire. Anyone else? Anyone else? Oh, yep, we got some contenders. Anyone else? Anyone else? Oh, there's lots of them, huh? Yeah. Lots of good times. Good times. What? Fire ants get what? Fire. Fire ants get fire. Fire ants get fire. You know, one time um, I was minding my own business and these fuckers bit me in the nutsack. Did I say about that? Yeah. Yeah, they bit me in the nutsack. So guess what? I have zero give a fucks about these guys. Zero. Zero. Nutsacks equals death. That's enough for today, what do you say? Yeah. How many things you killed? Uh, probably 6,000. Good number. That's a good number, yeah. Hey, good girl. Hey, good girl. Hey, good girl. Jenny. Jenny. Oh, my baby. My little good girl. <laughs> How long do you think it'll take? Probably 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yeah. So, I know you said six minutes to you later, but the numbers will really tell you when it's ready. Okay. Because it tells you like the temperatures and some stuff. All right. You want to know how cold the coil, indoor coil is right now? What? 25 degrees. Really? Yeah. That's how you know it's starved or refrigerant, obviously. Is it because of that? Yeah. That's the V coil uh, saturation tip. What else? Um... To the, to the right of that, the 48, is how the temperature of the coils around the in the condenser, right? All right. And then the middle numbers are the temperatures of the lines, the line set, outside line set that we have with the LV there. Is it about the same? Yeah. That's good. So, right now the temperature is 21 degrees inside the indoor coil. Yeah. And we know that it will freeze because it's below freezing. So we want it above 32, closer to 40, but not too high. And then we want the superheat and subcooling to be about 10 to 15 degrees. So right now we can tell that we're starved of refrigerant because it's so low and yeah we're putting it in now to hopefully get it to good numbers. How old are you? 18. What, do, what degrees do you have? I have a, a associate's HVAC degree and I'm working on a bachelor's engineering degree. In what? 
And uh, right now it's mechanical, but I'm deciding to go to electrical, maybe. Why? I like working with electrical systems and grids, you know? But at the same time, I do like working with machines, so I'm kind of on the fence about it. Okay. Look, Jenny's pooping. When she's done, tell her she's a good girl. Good girl, Jenny. Good girl, Jenny. Good girl. You're good girl. Good You're girl, such a Jenny. good girl. Yes, you are. You're such a good girl. Good girl, Jenny. Good girl. Box. You're Great such house. a good girl. Yeah, you're a good pooper. You're the best pooper in the world. You're a good girl. Good girl. Ready? Yeah. I guarantee you if it was three feet tall and there was a, like a trampoline under it, you'd be fine. Or water, you'd be totally fine. So, come on. Faith in yourself, dude. There's no option other than getting up here. You got it. All right. All right, now put one, one hand up there and grab that. Yes, just like that. Other hand. Yes. Now use your hand, your arm strength. No, you don't need to do that. You don't need to like, you don't need to like grip anything. Just use this strength here and put yourself up. I can't die. Wait, look, there's another, there's another step right above you. Another step right above you, right there. Now, come on. <laughs> look at me. You're here. Good job, buddy. <laughs> oh my goodness. We did it, man. We did it. Look at little Jenny. She's down. She's down. Look at her. Jenny! Jenny! She's like, I want to come out there too. How do you feel? Accomplished, right? Yeah. You, you got up here, dude. Especially with my hurt wrist. Yeah, with your hurt wrist, for sure. I go on to like 80% of my strength in my right hand. I wish, I'm, I wish my sideburns was as hardcore as yours. Yeah. Those are pretty legit. Jenny! Come on, good girl! Come on! Come on, girl! Come on, good girl! Come on, girl! Come on, good girl! Come on, good girl. Jenny. Jenny. Come on, good girl. Jenny. Come on. Come on, good girl. <laughs> you want to come up so bad? So cute. <coughs> How do you feel? Okay. Can you record me going down? I'm gonna go check out the, uh, real quick. Check it out. Okay. If I fall, don't delete it, all right? Okay. So see how I'm doing it? Yeah. Using my hands only. I'm gonna lower myself down okay. to the first step. Right there. Look, see how, can I hold on right here? Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm grabbing the, the pole, okay? Uh, just see how many pounds are put in. I'll tell you. Yeah. Five pounds, 13 ounces. Let's okay. keep going. 
Yeah. Well, you gotta add two and a half, remember? So you're you're gonna have to get like this. Uh -huh. So you're gonna have to like get to like this right here, right? Uh -huh. And you're gonna have to slowly come down like this until your feet catch on one of those, those little things. Keep your body close to the thing. So if you're if you somehow like slip or something, you can like see how I'm uh -huh. moving my hands this way. Uh -huh. Right there. Uh -huh. Do that. Uh -huh. And now I grab the bar. Yeah. Do that. Do the dogs. Yeah. Hey Jenny. Hey, can you can you grab that cup when you go inside? Hey Jenny, can you grab that cup that before you go inside? I just don't want it to stay in the yard. We need to clean it up, alright? Thanks. Jenny. Hey, good girl. Dewey, what are you doing? Feathering the refrigerator into the system. So we can Tell me what we've gone through so far. So, we took out the took out the refrigerant in the unit, the original refrigerant, and then we took out the bad part, and then we reinstalled the new part and vacuumed out all the non-condensables and moisture and dirt and air and all that and then we tested it pressure tested it with nitrogen to make sure there's no leaks and that was good and then we uh then we started adding in the refrigerant like we're doing right now to, to get it to working order and how are we doing now uh we're almost at like completely working operation you know like the numbers can and you stuff. show the numbers yeah so the it's, it's a little wonky right now but the the indoor coil temperature is it's almost above freezing. Right now it says it is, but it's just because the refrigerant we're adding in. It's almost above freezing. We want to keep it that way. We want this to be closer to 15, 10. Same thing with subcooling. And, and the pressures look good, so we're almost there. Jenny! 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 My good girl. You want a good girl. Jenny? You're such a good girl, Jenny. You're such a good girl. Jenny's a good girl. I love you. I love you, Jenny. I love you. Yeah, I didn't stop it at 11 and a half pounds. I love you. 11 and a half? Yeah. Okay. We're almost there. Three ounces away. Three ounces away? Yeah. Pretty much.
Uh, Show me your uh, your scar. My scar? Yeah. You got surgery there, right? Yeah. Removed the cyst. Ew. Weirdo. Huh? It's looking much better, isn't it? Is it? So they were almost above freezing. Subcooling, super, I mean, super heat is 6.5, and we got 24 subcooling, but that's just because it's winter time almost, so it's, it's going to be a little bit more balanced towards the cooling portion. When did you, uh, when was the last time that you, um, you worked on air conditioning units like this? The last time I worked on the one? Yeah, like, like what, this. Like this? Yeah. I would say like, like Fateville, like North Carolina. With me? Yeah. With me? Yeah. Okay. I haven't done something like this since then. Dude, you've done a great job. You uh, actually, you did most of everything. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. Like all I did was like, <clears throat> I just like breeze that shit in. That was it. That was it. What else did I do? Uh, Today. Nothing, right? I mean, yeah. I mean, you got the. Power cord. Oil. Yeah, I helped you do what you said to do. Yeah. So, dude, I'm proud of you, man. Hey. Super proud of you. What do you think? Should we leave it at 30 degrees? Because I feel like it's just because it's winter time. Oh, let's do a little bit more. A little more. Oh. I think I got bit by something. Oh, man. If I did, I would kill everything in the world that was around me. I don't think I did get, uh, I got bit. What happens if I get bit by ant? Uh, depending on the ant, usually it's formic acid that goes into your skin. No, no, no. Like, what would I do if an ant hill bit me? If I knew that the, the colony bit me? You'd probably use fire against them. To burn, do what? To, uh, to kill them all. Kill them all, right? Yeah. Like, it'd be like a, a torch on their entire village, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, I don't... I want to be very clear. I do not let... A single ant bite go. I will pillage the entire civilization of an ant. We'll do another half an hour. Another what? Half pound. Half pound? Yeah. Okay. Me and my buddy, his name is Dewey, my friend, we just uh, installed. We just installed this. We uh, used a, a torch to um, to separate the old one, which was this one right here. And then we installed a new one because there was a, a restriction in this uh, in this in this um, filter dryer. And um, yep, so we installed a new one. So right now it's actually working really good. We're just trying to make it work tip top shape. They believe he's a stickler for, um, he's really into yeah. making sure that everything is done correctly and uh, to the certain, to the correct standard and spe specifications of a unit, right? Yeah. And um, I told him, I was like, like an hour ago, I was like, we're good, dude. That we're getting the right temperatures inside. He's like, well, what if, you know, what if this, what if that is, you know, but he's right. He's right. hundred percent. hundred percent. This is his house. And uh, he wants it to be right, and we're getting it done correctly, right? Mm -hmm. But right now it's working really good. And uh, he, you what? I think it's good. So we go ahead and finish it. Yeah. It's done. Yeah, it's almost. It's like 31, 31 degrees. Okay. And I think you know if it was like summertime where we actually would be cooling, it would be, we'd be in, in perfect working condition. Okay. So what? What do you want to do? So we just uh, pack up and leave it as is. Okay. Cool. So. What are we you want to go ahead and start that process or what? Yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and start that process. Go ahead, knock it out. Man, that's, that's just frozen over, isn't it? That's just cold. When you when a when a tank loses pressure, it becomes really cold. Why is that, Dibley? 
uh, because it release it's a it's a endothermic process when when it loses its pressure it releases a, a lot of like it loses its heat energy so it absorbs a lot of it from the surrounding so what happens why does it become cold though i don't understand because it absorbs the heat around the surroundings so that the area becomes cold from the reaction of the of the refrigerant okay my guess whatever david lee what's next Jenny's like, whenever you guys are done, Jenny. <laughs> Adorable. Oh, it's gonna be hard to get gauges off of this one. You want me to do it? Huh? I'll do it. You can record this. Okay. All right. So what do you want me to do? Tell me what to do. So, make record for it. Yeah. So you just gotta take off the the gauges. Which one? These? Yeah, the red and blue one. Red and blue one. Yeah. Which one first? Uh, blue one first. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, that way better than me. What else? Uh, that, that's pretty much it. Um, gotta put these caps back on the, the Schrader valves. What else? And then that's that's it for the gauges. We just return their machinery and the refrigerant refrigerant back. Okay, so we're done then. Yep. Hey. Yeah. Good job, buddy. We fixed it. Hey, look at me. Say it. We fixed it. We fixed it.